Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn. I'm an iOS developer. I also do design. So um, in order to get better, I figured I can give myself a challenge every day and that is to recreate an app icon. That way I can learn all the techniques and apply that to my future work. So let's get started. Here I have a podcast app icon. I'm just gonna give it a gradient. Uh, excuse me if I'm not talking most of the time because <laughs> it's kind of hard to talk and uh, think at the same time. Especially when what I'm thinking about it's not really what I'm saying but more applying to what I'm trying to make. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I'm never good at talking. Um, so this is also a great chance for me to um, learn how to articulate my thoughts. Oh, that's the wrong color. I need a purple. So there's a gradient in the top. It's a lighter purple. So I need a... I don't want to just copy the color. So often the colors I choose are not very accurate, but that's okay. It's not really about um, being able to pick the right colors. It's just so I can get the techniques correct. Okay, I'm driving myself crazy with this. Uh, I know it's a more bluish purple. Mm, okay, I guess that looks kind of good. Yeah, and then top can change a bit. Lighter, lighter. I think that's about right. Okay, so the outside there's a little bit of shadow, so let's give that a shadow. Oops, one too many. Um, so, I, so like I said, I've been doing this for a week now, so I kind of already figure out what the numbers are in terms of shadows. They all, all of Apple's app icons have similar style. I think, yeah. Uh, I think that looks about right. Okay, I think the next challenging part is going to be doing all these rings on the inside. I think I'll start with the little circle dot. Is that a roughly? Yeah, that's roughly about the same size. Let's do 130. Yep. I think that's roughly in the center. Okay. And it looks like it's white with some shadows, and I that that's usually an in, inner shadow, and you and it's coming from the top like this. And then I would then blur the shadow. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, though it's like a, more like a purplish color, so let's see if I can give it a dark purple. Yeah, that's really good. I think my shallow shadow can be a little bit shorter. Yeah, I think a little bit darker as well to give that difference. Or maybe, I guess I do need to go down a bit to eight. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing some of the previous cre recreations that I did, you can check out my U uh, not my YouTube, my Twitter channel, or my, yeah, my Twitter, and I have a time lapse there for each day. Uh, I think that looks about right. I think I need to be a little bit more blurred. Mm, I wonder if there's a gradient here. Sometimes it's really hard to see, so I have to zoom in a little bit. And of course, the more I look at something, my eyes are starting to blur it out and I'm starting to see things, but it doesn't look like there's a gradient this way at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it that like that. Um, okay, now I need to do this little, I don't know, the, the rest of the, the letter I. Mm, 
where should I start? I think I can do a rectangle. Let's get the, the rough size first. And then my top needs to, let's go out by 10. I think that's good. Yeah, that's roughly the same. And of course I need to be taller. Yeah. Let's go out by one, two, one, two. Okay. It's gonna have the same style as the circle here. So I need to, I can just do uh, option command C, which will copy the style over. Of course, this doesn't look right because it's the corners are rounded. So let's see. Is it rounded all the way? No, just a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Yeah, if I go all the way, then I have more of a circle rather than sort of like a... I don't know what this is called. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, let me see if I can give these two points. Oops. And then maybe move them more. No, I'm still not getting that. Okay, I'll come back to you later. Let's do the bottom. Oh, am I not selecting correctly? Uh, I think my bottom needs to be smaller too. Let's go in by 10 points on each side. Yeah, that looks better. Though I'm a bit too curvy or too round. Okay, not sure what I should do because it's not that round. I guess it kind of looks like it's round. I mean, this could just also be very like low resolution so then it looks all pixely. No, okay, so this needs to be more narrow and this needs to come out much more. So let's do another 10 on each side. Does that look better? Is that more of the right shape? A little bit. Okay, this needs, let's go in by two points. I think they're points. Oh, can I lower this a bit? Okay. So, I mean, there's an easier way of doing this. I can just trace over it, but it defeats the purpose of trying to learn a new technique, right? So, okay, I need to somehow move this up so that it starts from here and not from here. Uh, I wonder if I can just add points and then just move these points up, I can't really do that because then I'm gonna ruin my shape. See? My shape. Um, so maybe a rectangle is not a good thing to do. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Uh, maybe instead of doing corner radius, I can just give this points here let's zoom in a bit so I can be on an actual part oops oops <laughs> I deleted way too many The one I want to delete and start here. Okay. Mm. And then maybe I'll do a center point here. 
get rid of these two points. Oh, then I could have just moved that down. Duh. Uh, let's give this man. Okay, this is not looking good. Like that. Heh. This looks like a heart. Maybe it'd be better if I did a this one. This one, I give it that shape perhaps. Let's move you down a bit. Hmm. Okay. So if I select this, then they both are visible, and then I can try to align the the pins. Mm. That looks kind of. match do my points match yeah does that look is that all oh, I'm too wide okay need to go in a bit too wide I'm gonna have to reshift you so that you're in the middle how's that a little bit more okay and also this is a little bit more curve as well oh, I kind of need this one do that let's move them both up and then oh show me the pins Okay, um, I think that's looking a lot better. It's not exact, but it'll work. Also, I'm a bit too... My shape's a bit larger. Yeah, that's good enough. And I think the, the shadowing looks pretty good too. Okay, although I have a bit of shadow here and I this doesn't look like there's shadow here very little I guess I guess I can lessen my shadow Okay, so I have the eye. I think it's the eye. Are we roughly the same? Roughly in the middle. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Um, let's figure out how to do this. Um, okay, we start with the circle. It's roughly that size. And then I have an inner circle. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, uh, duplicate. Let's give this a different color so I can see the difference between the two. Let's make this smaller, a little bit more. Mm, that looks about right. Okay, and then 
Now I can do a subtract, which will get rid of the inner part and give me a ring. And now I need to figure out how to do this part. I think there's a way where I can duplicate this. Uh, let's give it a color. Let's get rid of the shadow and make it less. Um, you know, give it a smaller opacity so I can see that it has this much spacing. Okay, let's scale this up. Uh, I guess I need to scale this way. Is that too much difference? Yeah, that's a bit too much. Uh, that looks like it's about good. I'll put this... Hmm, this is vertical though. I think I'm using the wrong shape. Because then this kind of curves a little bit here. Let's try that for now. Uh, well, do I do this? I think I do subtract. Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. Uh, inject. Nope, wrong one. I want it the other way. I want instead of keeping this, I wanted to keep this. Maybe I need to move my circle underneath, and then nope, still the wrong thing. Difference? Nope. Uh, subtract? Oh, there you go. Okay, subtract it is. Oh, and also this needs to go much lower. Yeah, that looks so good. Okay, I need to round this out. Oh, I wonder how am I gonna do that. Uh, can I flatten this, I wonder? If I can flatten this... Yeah, I think I did. Okay, flatten it, we'll get rid of all of it and just keep what's there. And then I think I can just round the edges here, maybe. Radius, can I do a radius? No, it would have to be a an angle point, I think. Okay, so then... I'm trying to get this point. No, you're not doing anything. Why aren't you doing anything? Does that work? No. Huh. What am I seeing? Something. Oh, there's one right here. This is you. Is that you? Is that the thing that's gonna give me my angle? Or is it this one? At that point, this one belongs to this, so this one I can use as a... There. Uh, where's my little handle on this one? There you go. Okay. See how it looks first. Okay, we're flat here and then we'll curve here and we'll curve underneath. Okay, so we are flat here, so this is wrong. This needs to be flat. We need to be straight with this. Um how do I do this? Like I'm not gonna be able to f get far with this. Okay, maybe having instead of having it there, I can have a point here, and then round this one. Yeah, yeah, that works. Uh, let's get rid of this too. Have a 
point here to anchor that and then get rid of that and then round this one. Oops. Did you, are you rounding? Why aren't you rounding? Too small. Okay, does that look good from far away? Yeah, that looks, that looks good. That looks round. Looks like it's round. Okay, maybe I can, I don't think I can do any more. I think I need to move this point higher. So then I can get a much rounder. Sorry, dude. But I move you there. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, now I just need to replicate the other side. Uh, how far did I go? About four pixels. So about four pixels somewhere right here. And somewhere right here. Let's see what point did I use? Six and forty-six radius. So do forty. Oops. Do forty-six, and this one is six. This has very similar style as well. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, and it automatically gave me this shadowing, which I was wondering how am I gonna do that? But I guess since we're, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm almost done then. I can just duplicate this and then make it big. No. No, that doesn't work. Darn. Oh. Let's see if I can duplicate this and then... No, that's not right because it's much more narrow. Okay, can't do that. Uh, need to restart. Is this where the other one is? Oh, roughly. I think a tiny bit less. Pixels. I think I'm a bit too big. Here, let's do it here. Okay, and then I had to duplicate this, change the color so I can see the difference, and make it make this one small. Ugh. I'm tapping on all the wrong keys. There you go. I think uh, that's roughly good. Okay, and then I select the two, subtract, give me my ring, and then I think. do before I made this one larger so then I can see the and then I use this to okay There's a bit of a curve here. It's okay. We're learning techniques. We're not learning to be accurate. Because <laughs> we're not experts. Um, okay, I need to move. Did I say my circle needs to be underneath? Can't remember. Inject? Wrong one. I mean intersect, I inject. Uh, difference? Nope. Subtract, subtract. Okay. 
Uh, oh, and then I need to flatten it again so then I can get rid of all the extra points. Good. Okay, and then I think let's get rid of the border. Go away, border. Okay, I think I was about four pixels in, roughly. Let's just roughly eyeball that. Gonna make it six. I think this was 46. Let's see if it looks great. Yeah, I think that looks good. Oh, wait, need my anchor. Roughly about there. Okay, 46. And then this one is uh, 6. Can't remember. 6. Okay, and then I need to copy this art style over to this. And yeah. Okay, let's make sure everything is centered. good. It looks pretty close to the shadowing and the whatever's there. Let's see if there's shadow on the... I don't know what this is called. It's like radio wave? Maybe? Who knows? Um, no, it doesn't look like there's any shadow. The only thing is the one down here, which I got. Okay, I think I did it. I think we kind of, yeah, wasn't that bad. Um, yeah. I guess, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, see you tomorrow.